Hi everyone. So now I'm <laughs> I'm here three times and this time we're going to look at breakout rooms. So my iPad is to my left and my phone is at the bottom. <laughs> so it's three of us in this room, only purely to show you how it can, how breakout rooms work. So I'm going to click to the bottom on breakout rooms and you do need to set this up in the settings. It's purely a tick in a box, but don't forget it because you won't have breakout rooms. So I'm going to click on breakout rooms and now you'll see assign two participants into and then one, two, three, four. So there's only two participants because I'm a host. Okay, so I can make as many rooms as I want. If I had a dozen people, I could put them in six rooms of two, three rooms of four, four rooms of three, whatever combination you want. So let me say two rooms and I'm going to send an individual to each room. In fact, it might just be easier if I do one room for the demo. Right, one room. So both of those two, I've got to do it myself, but I've got to send them both to one room. So create the rooms. And there you are. Breakout room one is created with Carol Rainbow and Carol's iPhone in it. Now then there's options here. So like when you breakout rooms close, you can close them after 30 minutes. <laughs> automatically close them after 30 minutes. You can set a countdown timer for 15 seconds at the end of the breakout session. So you can say, okay, you've got 15 seconds, save your work now and bring them back into the main room. You can move them into breakout rooms automatically. Okay, so I'm going to say automatically because in my instance that would be better. And I'm going, that's, that's my options. I'm happy with them. I'm going to open all rooms. And now my iPad has taken itself into a room somewhere and my iPhone's taken itself into a room somewhere and I'm left in the main room on my own. I'm going to move that just slightly out of the way. OK, so you can see in breakout room, in breakout rooms, there's two different people working. So I can broadcast a message to them saying, hi, uh, five minutes or 10 minutes or one minute, whatever. Broadcast. So now that message is actually showing on my iPad and my iPhone. <laughs> and if I was on the iPad or the iPhone, I could ask for help from the teacher so I can send a message to the teacher. OK, so as a teacher, I can join this room. If I've got 10 rooms, every one of them will say Lee, join there and as soon as I join it, do I want to join breakout room one? Yes. You can see I'm going into breakout room one to join my students and here we all are together in breakout room one. It says I'm now in breakout room one. We can all share. We could all work together on a whiteboard on anything you want them to work on, a grammar exercise, anything that you've planned for them. As long as they've got it before they go into the breakout room, they can work on it and share it. Um, so I often ask people to do a screen grab of the work or a photograph on the phone of the work. It doesn't matter how to get the work or you can email it to them beforehand. But if they know what they're doing, what they're talking about, discussing, so ranking tasks are brilliant. So you could say what's, you know, this out of this list, Choose five things that you take with you to a desert island. You know the story. And they'd have something to discuss. And discussion is the big thing, of course, when you're in a, a virtual classroom in the conferencing room. OK, we could all be scribbling, writing, drawing on this. And then, as I've said before, everybody can save the work. OK, so the work is now saved. I could show it in the folder if I wanted to. OK, so I'm going to stop sharing. Now then, if I go to breakout rooms as the host, I am actually, I could leave it and go back to the main room. Or I could close all rooms. And then return to the main room. So a very quick, very simple demonstration. Not very easy to see with one person. I guess those people will be back. The other two users will be back in the 30 seconds. There's the 30 seconds up and everybody's back in the room. OK, so it's not easy to see that, but 
the breakout room facility is very quick and easy to use. You assign your participants to the number of rooms you want, open the rooms and everybody goes to the rooms. Then you can pop in and out of every room to help send messages to every room. Everybody in the rooms can share anything and save anything. And then when you close the rooms, they all come back. Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching.